Steven from Top Music Cars here. Today we're gonna check out how we remade Franchise by Travis Scott featuring Young Thug and Mia. Okay, so in this template we're gonna see one of our team's best sound design work. Sometimes these projects can take us days, even weeks to finish. And we put all of our time and effort into this with the idea of giving you some quality tools to learn all you need about our music production and save you some time in the process. For example, we have our master track here, where you can see there's a chain of native effects going on, with an EQ to cut off unnecessary frequencies, a saturator for a rich sound, a multiband and a glue compressor to keep things tight and compact, a dynamic cube and then a limiter. This master chain can be saved into your own preset folder by just clicking here in the save preset button. You can do this with any sound or effect you like and make a preset pack out of any of our projects. This way you can save some time on the next occasion you need to give your song some final processing or mastering. Now let's take a look at the instruments of the intro. This is a hip hop song with a lot of great sounds. As you can see we have 7 layers. Let's go one by one and then listen to them all together. First we have a mid bass and a stereo bass. Playing the same exact notes, both were made with analog, one of Ableton's native devices, both with similar processing, but one is mono and the other one is stereo to make it sound bigger. Remember that if you like this sound or the processing, you can select all the plugins and then save them as a new preset like we did with the mastering chain. Then we have a plug sound made with Ableton's wavetable device, playing a different melody and with some processing as well. Next we have three lead layers, playing the same notes as the block, made using the analog and the operator devices, and with some effects to make the layers complement each other. And also we have a pad-like sound, similar to a choir sound, made with wavetable. Okay, enough talk, let's listen to them. Moving on, we have the drums, with 7 tracks, playing a simple pattern, but with some variations on the second verse. As you can see, some processing as well, mostly EQ, reverb and sound compression. You can find all the samples inside each project folder. Let's play the drums really quick. Next we have the bass group, where we have 4 layers playing the same notes, a nice bass line in G flat minor, but playing that in different dog tapes for a deeper sound. For the first 2 mid basses, the melody is in the 3rd octave. For the 3rd mid bass, a little lower, playing in the 1st octave. And then there's the sub, playing the melody 1 octave below to give the bass more depth, and for the sounds, we have two operators and two wavetable devices. Let's hear them one by one then together.
great pumping bass sound. Next we can hear the 808 bass group and then add the drums to check how they work together. Notice that when something is well mixed, you can hear other different components clearly. Let's play it now. Today we got to see some of the key parts of the arrangement that by the way you can get the full version in the description below. And now I'm gonna leave you with a full beat without the vocals so you can hear all that we reviewed together. Let us know in the comments which sound or techniques you'd like us to share with you. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss any of the new stuff. Keep making music guys, see you on the next one.